only about you, sis. It's about your children. It's about your property. It's about your heart. The man, I saw that witch put the man down on the ground by calling that spirit that you cussing out your mouth for every day that came and took the brother out. I watched it. And that's what it's doing to you. You gotta stop the cussing. Now watch that. Show you something here. Watch it. See this girl right here? See that? Watch this. You, you, you gonna get some out of this. Sure enough. This thing said, every time she says my name, F. That's his name. F. I come to the destroy her. My people destroy for lack of knowledge. I know. I was a sorcerer. I know what I'm talking about. This is real. You can't be cussing to F you and what F you. You can't do that because every time you do that, you're conjuring up something comes out of the pit. Look at it in your Bible. Go to Proverbs 5 and 5. I ain't got time to do it in this segment. 5 and 5 talks about there's a staircase in hell. And every time you curse, spirits come up them steps and they take over your life. And you wonder why things are so difficult because you're sneering yourself. God said it. Ain't earthquake ain't said it. God said you're sneering yourself. This is what's catching you. That's what I saw when I was a little boy. This poor lady right here, she said, every time I get mad and say, eh, you get on my so-and-so, and she said, eh, you know the rest are. I ain't going to say it. Don't you say it. Something grabs me. She can feel it. Grab. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm talking to you. Way down in South Africa, stop the cussing. Way over in Ireland, the brother that called me from Ireland and said, I can do what I want to do earthquake. I'm a grown man. Brother from Ireland, I love you, man. I would never try to tell you something to harm you. No, but this is going to harm you. The brother, the brother, African-American brother that called me and said, man, I'll do what I want to do. You can't tell me not to cuss. Bruh, bruh, you misunderstand. I ain't trying to tell you what to do. I'm trying to inform you. Life can get much better if you don't, and it can get worse if you continue to do it. That's all earthquake is doing, man. I ain't trying to take nothing from you. I ain't trying to take nothing from you. I'm trying to show you wisdom and not understanding for your family. Your wife won't be so much scared of you. Your children won't be scared of you. Over in Australia, I'm telling you, all that's watching, your family won't be scared of you. You're just a cussing machine that's putting stuff in your house. Stuff. Look at this yourself. Proverbs 5 and 5, see if I'm lying to you. There's stairs and the pits of hell, and every time you cuss, these things come up. Look at sister, look at sister here. Look at it. Look at it. Every time I get mad and say F, something grabs me. It grabs me. Like it grabbed me. Let me tell you something. That thing that night when I was and that thing first showed up to me, I was laying on the ground trying to cover up with the cover. It pulled the cover away from me. Pull the cover up. Come on, man. Pull the coverage away from me. And I was laying down there and this this thing stepped its foot. Stepped his foot. Razor blade, feeling foot on my arm, and my arm burst open with blood. Sure did. Say you'll never get away from me, which is a lie, because I'm I'm free, only through Jesus Christ. The next morning I woke up, I was in so much pain. My mother, she didn't she didn't see no no cuts on me before I went to bed. She said, "What's wrong with you, son? What's wrong with that monster? That monster thing?" I didn't tell her that I cursed the man. I didn't, I don't know. I didn't tell her about that. I said, some monster stepped on my arm. She said, stepped on your arm? What monster? I said, mommy, he came out of the closet and he, and he stepped on my arm. And my arm.